If we're gonna get a cash flow going, get out my car, man. To funnel us money. You wanna rob some store? That'll cause more problems than it's worth. I'm saying we buy one from the morning star. Why because would they let us do that? A chance to sell to us. Yeah. Nope. Because we already have the deed. Come again? We take the deed from the lockbox and purchase the store in our name instead. Well, oh, okay, I get it. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess we're going to be getting some more properties, so I didn't really need to explain that at the beginning. But yeah, in case I didn't really explain that too thoroughly, basically you can buy property in the game and that does a handful of things, but mainly it makes it so you can generate money in the game automatically. And just gets automatically added to your bank account, so that is pretty sweet. We added to friendly fire. Yep. Best thing is owning it gives us a discount. Oh yeah, that's the Fuck other thing. Discounts. Yeah, once you uh, own a store, if it's something like Friendly Fire, everything in there costs less, so... If you're planning on buying a bunch of upgrades and stuff, it's recommended that you own the store so that everything comes cheaper. Yeah, I really doubt we have many fans. Didn't the uh, Syndicate try and arrange it so that we would basically be hated by everybody here? Alrighty. Well, what, what's this over here? Are we buying another place? The hell are those? Um, okay. Do I grab them or what? Can you explain this, Pierce? Oh, that? Sex dolls? Uh, what? Forget I asked. Are you kidding me? I don't mean like that. They're collectible. What? Try and find them all. You're really not making like Pokemon? Yeah, I catch them all. In the box. In I you just That's got really flat. gross. Wait, so we have to collect sex dolls in this game? That's disgusting. Hope they're not used. Okay, I'm gonna stop. That's really gross. I just totally missed what we're supposed to be doing next. I guess we're going to go get an apartment, he said, or something like that. Alrighty, let's go and grab that. What the heck is that guy doing in the beer can? Wow, that was... <laughs> I hope you guys saw that, that dude walking around the beer can outfit. Whoa, whoa, what the heck is happening? Why am I fighting this guy? What the heck? Uh, why did that just happen? My finger must have slipped or something. I did not mean to do that. Sorry, buddy. I, I, I seriously did not mean to do that. That's my bad. But okay, now we have that estate purchased. So they'll be easy to find. So yeah. They'll think twice about coming back. Okay, so I guess we're going to go take some, uh, take care of some of the Morning Star guys. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah. I love that. In one of the other videos, I noticed somebody left a comment saying that they like to rock out to the classic stations. So. As a favor to them, I might occasionally put that station on the radio, but for the most part, I'm going to be playing the death metal station. And wow, I really overshot that turn. But yeah, really classic radio in a Saints Row game, really. <laughs> Alright, I got a better idea. Let's run these guys over. This works a whole lot better. There, we took care of like half of them already. That's a whole lot easier now. And I'm just gonna use my handgun because I don't want to waste my ammo. You guys get out of my way, and why can't I shoot them through the gate? I noticed that when I rewatched uh, my videos that I put up a few days ago, whenever I tried to shoot through these gates, there was like an invisible wall there. So I guess I have to shoot over them, which isn't a problem. It's just weird that they don't let you do that in the game. A little bit odd. And whoa, someone's pissed off up there with a laser pointer. What the heck is that? That wasn't just a glitch, right? That was actually something, I'm sure. What it was, I don't know. There's some dude up there just aiming his laser pointer at me because he's really pissed off at me. Alright, let's go. I guess we're going to kill some more guys. Let's go find them. Get out of my way! I'm on a mission here! Oh, there they are. Let's get them. Let's run their asses over. Whoa. Hey, that guy just grabbed Pierce out of the car. Get away. Give Pierce back. He's my homie. Shoot you in the ass, man. I'll shoot you in the face. And screw it, I'm gonna use my machine gun because there are way too many guys here. Holy crap, there's a lot of people. 
Don't seem that tough though. Really, Johnny Gat couldn't take you guys out? I am surprised at that. Johnny Gat has to come back at some point. They didn't even show him actually die, right? So, I'm sure he comes back later. Plus, he's like one of the most popular characters in the game, so there's no way they're just going to kill him off right at the start. He's going to make a cameo later, come back and help us out. So we got boys He'll probably be the one to kill Philippe, actually. Be able to take the heat off you. Good to know. Okay, so I think I got that, so... If I'm understanding correctly, once you own a property, you can walk into it and it'll make you lose all of your heat with whatever gang is after you. So, whoops. My bad. Let's go ahead and try that. And if we can not be shot at for a few seconds, that'd be nice. But yeah. See, th this works a lot better for me for these high action missions to have some death metal in the background. That just makes a lot more sense. Alrighty. And, okay, wow, I way overshot that turn again. I need to get better at the controls at this game. So let's go ahead and run in there. And, oh cool, it worked. Notoriety can be removed by hiding in any building you own. Very nice to know. Alright, so it's kind of like the pain spray of the game and... Whoa, 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 why are you driving on my car, man? That's not cool. Man, what a jerk. Jeez, well okay, we completed another mission. And we only got 500 bucks for that one. Lame. Although we did get a bunch of properties, so I guess it kind of evens out. Anyway, uh, now that we're here and that we own this property, I'm going to go ahead and buy some ammo. Because it looked like I didn't have very much, and yeah, I really didn't. Okay, let's go ahead and stock up on a little bit of everything. Get more octopi from my gun. And we've got a nice chunk of change, so let's see if we can upgrade something or... Ooh, Death Blossom, that sounds cool. I think that's how you'd pronounce that, right? Death Blossom. And... Eh, those cost too much. That looks cool, though. I'm looking forward to getting that, but I think I'll save the rest of my money in case I want to buy a building later. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and tackle on the next mission. Uh, is there a car I can take? No. You know, before I take on the next mission, I want to look at some of this other stuff. Uh, upgrades. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, do... Oh! Oh, and they cost money. Okay. Hmm. Revive speed. Pickpocket. Okay, so you can buy new skills and stuff. Alright, that's the menu for this. Sprint long... I don't really need to sprint longer. I'm going to look at these and decide which one I want. Health regen. Uh, I haven't had any problems with that just yet, so hold out on that for a little while longer. That might be nice. Bullet damage reduction. Um, okay, so I, I understand how respect works in this game. So instead of needing respect to unlock story missions, you just need it to unlock upgrades. That's kind of cool. That's one thing I didn't like about Saints Row 2, was that in order to do a mission, you needed to have enough respect to do it. And it's kind of like, I'm already the leader of the gang, why do I need more respect from the people in the gang in order to do the mission? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unlock these dual-wheeled pistols, and does that... Oh yeah, cool, that just automatically gives it to me, cool. Alrighty, we got dual-wheeled pistols, that's cool. And I'm going to take your bike, dude. Because I don't think I've driven one yet. And let's just go ahead and set our marker for the next mission, see what we got to do here. Tank Mayhem. Okay. That sounds like interesting. Go on. I'm all ears. I always now like blowing shit up. To deliver their goods buried in the syndicate files. You're saying we drop a few pipe bombs under them? Fuck yeah. That. I'm saying we use a tank. This that sounds cool. Okay. So we get to use a tank in this mission? That sounds nice. Alrighty. I think that was a mini game back in Saints Row 2 as well. So I guess we're just getting introduced to all of the uh, side missions you can do. Like trafficking and being able to buy property and stuff like that. Those are all the additional side stuff. And wow, we're in a tank! Nice! Grand Theft Auto don't have this. Alright, how do I shoot? Oh, whoop. Well, I'll answer my own question. That's how I shoot. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Damn! Money flying everywhere. Wow! That is cool. 
blow you up, and I blow you up. Kaboom. And there's another one of those laser pointers. I'm guessing those are like the uh, laser sights for sniper rifles, right? Blow you up. Wow, my combo's at 83. Damn, that was good. I'm guessing 83 is good. Blow you guys up. And send your ass flying. And let's see if I can hit those helicopters. That'd be cool. Can't quite aim high enough. Yeah, they're just out of reach for me, so I guess I can't hit those. I wonder what happens if I use the other button. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a gun, too. Okay. That's good to know. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and finish this up. And... Let's run you over. Whoa, that was cool. So you can just run stuff over. Nice. And... Oh, that's it? Oh, I want to keep doing that. That was really fun. Oh, man, that was awesome. I want to do another one of those. Well, I'm sure there's side missions, so... I think we can go back and do that whenever we want at higher difficulty levels, so... That's good to know.